It's called Parasite Pals. It's a little girl, and there's very cute little bugs. <laughs> and in the back it says, Holiday Hostess. So she's a hostess to all of these little bugs. But we are a host to emotions and thoughts as well. So we could exchange these for anxiety and depression and anger and fear and fury and jealousy. We are a host for them. They are not who we are. The thoughts you think, you're a host to them. Your true nature is a host. You are a host. The emotions that run through your body, your true nature is a host to that. So whenever you have a thought that runs in your mind, or you have an emotion and a feeling that just overtakes you and runs you, there's a part that can always notice it. That's your true nature. But there's an instant in you that can say at any moment, not today. Today I'm going to have peace. And if it comes up, you keep saying, no, thank you, but today I'm going to be not a host. True freedom, where you have peace, aliveness, joy, wonder about each day, is accessible in each moment. In each moment, in each instant, it's either fear or anxiety or depression or jealousy or freedom. It's like that. Now, why is it so hard? Why is it so hard to go there and stuck, stay stuck there? Why? And what I'm sharing with you is a direct personal experience. This is how it unfolded for me and the learning I got from it. So the personal self is a combination of thoughts, of feelings, of emotions, of instincts, and they're all tied to the physical body. And how are they there? They are there because your body at conception was programmed to experience particular thoughts and emotions and instincts. How you view life, how you experience life, how you operate, the personal self, was programmed the moment you were, the body was conceived. The, the DNA from the mother and father cells came together and created your body. So your body is just a vehicle through which your true nature operates. It's like the car through which the true nature drives in this world. 